Sheila. It's nice to meet you. I hope you stick around because today I want to share with you a mushroom risotto recipe. This recipe um, I made for a camping trip actually. It was supposed to be a vegetarian option for the people during at the trip. Um, so yes, this recipe is vegetarian. However, when I served it, um, everybody really liked it. Even the people who um, were not vegetarian and who really loved meat told me that they thought it was phenomenal. <laughs> I got really good rave reviews. And so um, I'm sure even if you really love eating meat, um, you will love this meal just as much. Actually, at the time, I was not even vegetarian myself, but um, not to be dramatic, but I really feel like this meal is kind of what turned me into vegetarian. Not really. What actually made me become vegetarian was the documentary uh, What the Health on Netflix. You should check it out if you haven't already. But um, just this meal, this, this risotto made me realize that it's possible to have really good um, tasty food that doesn't have meat in it and so I hope uh, this video gives you some inspiration on the type of food you can eat um, on this kind of diet and even if you're not vegetarian like I said you love it just as much so what you'll need for this recipe is let me see I have it on my computer so here's what you'll need to make this delicious mushroom risotto you will need half a cup of dry white wine, two tablespoons of olive oil, half a cup of butter, seven cups of vegetable broth, here I'm using bouillon cubes, two cups of arborio rice, some parmesan cheese, um, fresh would be better, but I did not have any at the time. You'll also need about 700 grams of mushrooms. I am using cremini and portobello mushrooms. Um, you'll also need four garlic cloves, two shallots, but I only had one, so I also used half of a yellow onion, and some fresh Italian parsley. So the first step is to heat up seven cups of vegetable broth in a saucepan, but here I'm making the broth using three bouillon cubes that I will dissolve in seven cups of boiling water. It's important for the broth to be hot so that the rice can cook and absorb the liquid properly. If you're using like a carton box of vegetable broth, you'll still have to heat it up in a saucepan. Place the lid on the saucepan over medium heat to make sure none of the broth evaporates and wait for the broth to heat up while preparing the veggies. Next, you will need to cut up the mushrooms in slices and place them in a bowl to set aside for later. That bowl will come in handy later when cooking the mushrooms. slice up the shallots. Like I mentioned before, I only had one shallot left, so I used half a yellow onion to compensate. Um, it definitely was not as good, but it did the trick. You'll also need to chop up four garlic cloves. Here you're only seeing three because the cloves were kind of big. And lastly, roughly chop up some parsley. Now we're ready to start cooking. Add one tablespoon of olive oil to a skillet over medium heat. Once the pan is heated, add the mushrooms and cook them until they are soft and have reduced in size. Once they are cooked, carefully transfer the mushrooms along with their liquids into the bowl that we used earlier and set it aside. Next, we are going to add another tablespoon of olive oil to the pan and cook up the shallots slash onions for about one minute. And then we'll add the garlic to the pan and cook it for another minute. Now it's time to toast the rice. Add two cups of arborio rice to the pan 
and stir it until it takes a pale golden color. Then add half a cup of white wine and stir it in the rice until it's fully absorbed. By now the broth should be boiling and we can start cooking the rice. You will add half a cup of the hot broth to the rice at a time. Stir the broth in until the rice has fully absorbed the liquid. Then you'll add another half a cup while stirring the rice constantly until it's fully absorbed. And then another half a cup and so on until all seven cups of the broth have been absorbed into the rice. This is a long process. It should take about 15 to 20 minutes. It's the only tedious part of the recipe though. Um, it's really not so bad. Just listen to some good music or a podcast and those 15, 20 minutes will go by in a flash. Once all the seven cups of broth have been absorbed, it should look like this. Now you'll add the mushrooms back into the risotto. And then melt in half a cup of butter. It is probably best if you cut up the butter into pieces so that it melts more evenly in the rice. Um, unlike what I did, which was just put a whole stick of butter in. <laughs> you can also use vegan butter if you want to make this dish vegan. And then Sprinkle on some parmesan and stir it in. Again, if you wanted to make it vegan, you could add vegan cheese or no cheese at all, and it will still be really good, I promise. And then add the chopped parsley on top to make it look all fancy and pretty. Lastly, plate it with a sprinkle of parmesan and parsley on top. And there you have it, a delicious mouth-watering risotto. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you tried it at home, I would really love it if you could share it with me on Instagram or Twitter or in the comments, tell me you tried it. Um, that will make me really happy. Um, if you liked this video, please like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Um, I make food videos, but I also make lifestyle content and vlog type videos. So if you enjoy any of those topics, please subscribe and stick around. But yeah, I will see you next week for my next video. See you then.